Hey everybody, Chris Ed, you join again. So, a lot of cool stuff on this rig. This is a, uh, it's a 2861 DS Forester by Forest River. Had to say that first before I forget the model number. Uh, if you want to see an interior tour, I'm sure there are professional video guys from Forester and RV dealers all over the world showing off the interior. So, we're gonna get down to the nitty gritty on what we did to it which is converted to four wheel drive. So this is a 2021 E450 chassis. It's our first 2021 with the 7.3 gas V8. Um, that's another thing that's been confusing guys is yes, Ford is making a 7.3 gas. It's a truck motor that they finally put in the E-Series. Um, so the E-Series, you know, I, I call it the bastard child of the Ford family because we tend to get stuff last. Um, except for, you know, in 97, the, the E-Series is actually the first to get the V10, which is kind of cool. But since then, we always get the leftover stuff. So, nothing different with our suspension. Uh, we did a Stage 2 front axle, RSC upgrade, uh, 456 gears, Detroit True Track. It's got the big 14.5 inch diameter rotors, custom spec springs. We uh, reused the stock front bumper with our front frame support in there. You notice you can tell the new 2021s from this larger air dam up front other changes are very slim uh i'm in love with the 7.3 i was just telling the guys it just feels effortless the v10 is a great motor but they like to rev a lot which just feels odd in these things um this 7.3 just has so much low-end grunt it's like even on a rig this big uh it just feels like it's it's not even sweat so uh, 295 70 17 front Toyo mud terrain on a pro comp wheel sorry for the rig being dirty we're gonna give it a bath it's been sitting around for so long poor thing needs a needs a good washing uh, single Fox 2.0 I think I already mentioned the custom spec springs front and rear no extras on this rig just got our Helwig sway bar upgrades front and rear drive shaft a carrier drop uh, 255, 85, 16 on the rear on some stock wheels that we powder coated in house. Uh, I'll show you some of the cool other things for the new chassis. Um, if you're an E Series guy, you'll notice that is different. The uh, headlight switch is different. The cluster is different. Steering wheel is new. Dash panel is new as well. Not many changes, just a little bit of different of a different cutout. It's got some USBs there. The one thing that I don't like is they switched it to a single DIN um, stereo instead of the double DIN. Uh, I'm a little disappointed in that because I have a 2021 7.3 cutaway chassis on order and I wanted to put a nice double DIN in there. So I'm assuming this Sony panel was added by the uh, RV builder, but I don't know, this kind of meh. I'd rather have a nice flush mounted double DIN stereo. So that's it, it's my only complaint putting some miles on it it's gonna head to uh to port soon i forgot to mention this is uh this rig's going to dubai this is the first of six um rvs that we're converting for a dealer in our in dubai this year some of them might carry over into 2021 but this is number one uh we're calling it number one because we have these six coming it's actually our third rv that we've converted that is going to dubai so Got any questions, leave them in the comments or shoot me an email, chris at youjoinoffroad.com. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook for daily shop updates. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great day.